So the biggest challenge to sustainable development is poverty and inequality. And unless science is answering that question, uh, then it becomes irrelevant. And so the work that we've been doing at the South African National Biodiversity Institute is to make the economic and social case for biodiversity and show the links between nature, biodiversity, jobs, uh, economic empowerment, uh, overcoming inequality, access to resources and the use of resources, sustainable use of resources. Because in a very busy world with so much demands on the fiscus, such as for housing and health and, and youth development, etc., if we don't make the case for science and biodiversity that links with social and economic growth and, and development, then you become irrelevant. I think sustainable development needs to be explained better uh, and it needs to be relevant to the lived experience of people. And in South Africa, we have very high unemployment, for example. And so the, the sustainable development needs to really impact on, on those people. Uh, and so unless you, you help the majority of people in South Africa to value biodiversity and value the environment as well as get value from it, then you, uh, uh, then you won't win on the sustainable development front. I think, I think the sustainable development uh, concept is completely logical. It is completely the right thing to do, but it must be related to the lived experience of the majority of people on this earth. I think that, that science um, and scientific endeavor has to have a link with human well-being and particularly human well-being. And I think that the, the, the challenges we face are, are, are too many for us to be precious about science. And I think that we should be helping more and more people be scientific and be scientists themselves. And I would wish that science was not considered an elitist activity, but that everybody will have the passion for investigation, for finding out what's right and what's the truth, uh, for, for seeing their environment, for uh, identifying challenges for, human, for, for, for us as a society, and that we would have a much less elitist scientists as view of science that science is for everybody, science is everybody can do it from the age of five onwards. <laughs>